Hi, this is Olajide from CTF Security and welcome to day 4 of TriAcme Advent of Cyber 2023. In today's video, we will attempt to gain access to a web application login portal. Our task is to uncover a valid login credential concealed within the web page content using tools such as Cool and WFOS. So without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back to the challenge and just like yesterday we are also going to be performing a brute force attack and our tagline for today's task is baby it's cool outside we have the green button here to start our machine so i'm going to quickly do that remember it's going to take approximately one minute for your machine to properly start up so while that is starting let's take a look at what we have in this room now as usual we have the storyline for the challenge so i'm not going to be going through that so we'll just move straight to the learning objective for this challenge first of all we want to learn what cool application is uh, we want to also be able to know what are the capabilities of cool how can we leverage cool to generate custom word lists from a website how can we customize the tool output for specific Task. Uh, in case you're wondering, we have an overview of what the cool application is. The cool application is a custom word list generator tool that spider website to create word lists based on the site content. So we have a tool that has the capability of generating custom password list based on that particular web application content page. In the context of web security and penetration testing, refers to the process of automatically navigating and cataloging a website content, often to retrieve site structure. So that is all about the cool application. Now, if I scroll down, we have the guideline in connecting to the attack box and the VM machine. So I'm just going to scroll down for now. We have deployed the target VM attached to this task by pressing the green start machine button, which we have done already. After obtaining the machine generated IP address, you can either use the attack box or use your own VM connected to TriAcme VPN, which I've done already. So this is my VPN connected. Now I'm just going to scroll down and we have some introduction to the use of the cool application. So what we are going to do first is to just pick our IP address and we're going to launch this on a new tab to see what we have. Okay, so this is nice. Interestingly, we have the homepage of the Antarctic Craft application. Now I can scroll down to just take a look at what we have on this application, which is an interesting website, by the way. Uh, let's just scroll down and see all they've got. Okay. All right. So let's go back to the Triac Me. Now, let's take a look at how to use the cool application. The first thing you need to learn is how you can trigger the help command line. And if I go to my terminal here, so I can use the application C E W L. And I'll use the help tag. And this is going to generate the list of the help commands that you can use within the application. As you can see them, we have a lot of commands like the H for help. We have the tag K for keep, D for depth, M for minimum word. We have the O for offsite. Then we have the exclude, allowed, and so many more. So let's just see what we can do with this application. So if you don't have it installed, you can just use the command to install it on your Linux distribution. And let's scroll a little bit down. What we can also do is we can generate a link. So this is like a default way of using the cool application. So you just point the application to the website in question. So for example, we can decide to grab the URL here and let's go to our terminal. I'm going to clear this. Let's just make this big. Uh, I think I have a directory inside my document. 
ok uh, AOC mm. ok let me just create a new one so I can just say make DIR let's call it D4 CD D4 ok I can clear this so we can have CEWL and we can point it to our target web application and just hit the enter key. So what this is going to do is it's going to spider the URL and extract words within the web application and it's going to print it out on the screen. Now you can see some of the words that are being used on the web application. You can see them. Now what we have just done now is just the default use of the cool application one thing uh, particularly about using it in a default mode is that it does not extract numbers within the password list so what i'm trying to say is if you go to the application you probably might see some numbers within the web application um let's see you can see numbers so these numbers will not be extracted when you are running it with the default mode so what we can do in this case is to use another tag uh let's just get that tag from the triac me let's see i'm still coming back to that i think it's with numbers okay good so we have it with numbers now, now what the with number is going to do is it's going to include spidering of numbers within the web application now if i go back let's grab it with numbers copy then i can launch this bring back the last command and we're going to use it with numbers flag okay so if we scroll through the word list generated let's see if we have numbers also generated uh, do we have numbers cool so you can see some numbers are being generated within our word list do we have another one you can see it's zero one two three four five so this is another interesting way of using the cool command so let's go into this practical challenge is there anything i've left out not really okay cool so now the cool application have some advantage over other custom word list generators now the first thing is it has the ability to specify specific targets and that is what we've just done earlier within this cool application now you can also specify the depth of your search and you can easily customize your output the cool provide various options to fine tune the word list such as setting minimum words so you can decide to say okay i want word list within five to ten characters to be generated from the web application it has built-in features which is very very interesting features we also have the efficiency the cool can often generate shorter but more relevant word lists than just generic ones making password attack quicker and more precise we also have integration with other tools i personally i love integrating the cool command with the awk command in order to fine-tune my word list generation the cool is actively maintained and updated this means that it stays relevant and compatible with contemporary security needs now if we go into some of the tags you can see some commands here like the tag d which is used to specify the depth of the spider then we also have the w which is used to specify a name for our word list we also have we can set minimum of password list we want to generate in this case we have just five characters you can also set maximum which is 10 characters now just like i said earlier we have the width number we have the dash a which is used for form based authentications we have the extension and we have the offsite now if i scroll down we have our practical challenge which is where it starts to get interesting now we have a login portal if i just copy this link here and we paste it in here cool 
so we have a web application login portal which is requesting for a username and password and we have our submit button here now let's go back to the challenge to see what we've got so your goal for this task is to find a valid login credential in the login portal you might want to follow the step-by-step -step tutorial below as a guide now if we scroll down here the first task we want to perform is to find the list of possible passwords within the application and we're going to be generating this password list from the home page of the application so i'm just going to leave this part of the application then we're going to navigate to the home screen now i want to generate list of our passwords from the web application home page here so we can quickly do that let's grab our commands i'm going to walk through this command in just a minute i'm going to clear this what do we have here so i'm going to paste so we are using the cool application we are specifying a depth of two we are specifying minimum of five characters then we are giving our word list a name which is going to be password.txt we are specifying our target url and we want to include numbers in our generated password so i'm going to just run this quickly and within few seconds our password list will be generated okay good so what we can do is to take a look at what we have and we have our passwords.txt so we can quickly view that cat passwords.txt and you can see the list of all generated password so let's go back to our application and we can proceed from here keep an eye out for antacticraft specific terminology or phrase that are likely to resonate with the staff as this could be potential passwords so we have our second guide and it says create username list using cool use the antacticraft team member page to generate word list that could potentially contain the username of the employees now we've gotten list of passwords we want to try and generate list of possible username for the web application login portal now if we go to the application and you see that we have let's try to go through the links that we have here we have team members in the about page so i'm going to click on it So this is going to take us to the web url slash team.php and if we scroll down we have some team members we have the isaiah's which is the security officer we have daniel chief officer we have job which is happiness officer now we can just grab this url or rather let's just hold on and go back to the application we can just grab the full command and we'll go to our terminal we'll just paste it in here just like the way we did in the password.txt we are using the cool application with a depth of zero we are specifying minimum of five characters the name of our word list is going to be username.txt and this is the url for the team page which is the team.php and we are specifying that our password list is going to be basically lowercase and i'm going to hit the enter button and this password list would be generated now we can take a look at what we have cat username.txt and this is going to give us list of what has been generated from the team.php page you can see it here all right so let's go back to the challenge instruction and i can scroll down 
and let's move to the third part now what we want to do is to brute force the login portal using wforce with your word list ready and the list of username from the team member page it's time to test the login portal now we're going to be using a tool called wforce to brute force the slash login.php the wforce is a tool designed for brute forcing web application it can be used to find resources not linked directories servlet script it can be used for checking different kind of injections such as the SQL, the cross-site scripting, the LDAP. It can also be used to brute force form parameters such as username and password. Now we have a command here showing how we can use the force application. I beg your pardon, the W force application. So I'm going to grab this command quickly and we begin to take a look at what it really means so let's go to our terminal i'm going to paste the command in here so the first part is wforce which is the application we are using for this forcing and the dash c is an option used to colorize the output for better readability we have the the dash z which is used to specify the file in this case we are specifying the username.txt which is a list of our username file we also have the dash z which is also used to specify the password file then we have the dash hs and it has please enter the correct credential now what this does is it hide this particular string from the application so whenever we send any request from the w force and the response comes along with the please enter the correct credentials then the w force is going to ignore that particular request meaning that it is not the possible password for that application now we can actually get this text string by going to the application we can um, let's move to the employee portal and from here we can just enter a domain password so let's assume we have admin as username and we have password as password i'm going to submit don't save so you can see we have please enter the correct credential so if you are dealing with a different application you just have to pick the error message and specify within the w force application so we're going to move back so the dash u is used to specify our target which is the url slash login.php now we have the dash d to specify the data we are sending in order to get this data you can either use bob suit to grab this data or you can do it in developer mode so let's just quickly do it in developer mode i'm going to right click inspect okay so we're going to go to network tab all right so let's send a dummy data so i can just use the same admin and then i'm going to use password and i'm going to submit don't save so we have our login.php i'll just quickly click on that and we can take a look at the request we are sending here okay cool so let's change this to raw you can see that we are sending username admin password password now when we are using this data within the first application we need to include the value as a white card which is why we had to use a placeholder which is the false and the force 2 z which is used to denote password within the w force application and the force is used to denote username so what we are going to do is quickly send this and see what we got so this is going to take few minutes in order to find possible username and password for our application so i'm going to pause the video and we're going to return when the brute force attack is done okay so finally out of 9361 requests we're able to find a response and this is a 302 response which stands for redirection and we have a payload which is isaiah's 
and happiness as our password isaiah as our username so what we can do is to try this login information to see if this is going to get us into the application now i'm going to grab the first username and i'll just put it into the username box so i'm going to grab the second which is happiness copy and i'm going to paste in here submit don't save so this is taking us to dashboard.php meaning we've successfully logged into the application all right so this is going to present us with a web mail and we can just scroll all the way down to an email received from kelvin and it says confidential as the subject so i can just click on that and when i scroll down this is going to reveal our flag and it says hi azias here is your flag so we can grab this flag and just copy and we can scroll all the way down and just paste in our flag and not forgetting the username and the password is azias and you have to follow the specific pattern given which is username column then the password basically what we've done in this video is we're able to use the cool application to spider the information within the web application that we have and from this information we're able to generate list of potential username and password then we pass the list of this username and password into w which is able to go through this list one after the other in order to locate the actual password for the web application so guys that will be all in this video please make sure you like subscribe and share and i'll see you in the next video